So in this video, I wanted to share with you a design style that I've been trying on Kiddo, and this is the tarot card design. Now, I'm not into tarot cards. I don't know that much about it, but I really love this design. It's this line art design, and I made these right here in Kiddo, and I wanna show you how easy it is to do it in Kiddo, and so you can take your own spin on it. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I wanted to talk about tarot card designs, tarot card t-shirt designs. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I found this. I went on Amazon and I found this. I typed in tarot cards and I found all of these. And also on Redbubble, here are some ideas for tarot cards. So I think it's very popular. It's a very niche or niche, uh, depending how you say it. Uh, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. I think Kittle is one of the best places to do it because they have all the tools. They have the vintage graphics, they have the frames, uh, they have the distressed texture. So I'm gonna use all of those things in Kittle to make uh, tarot cards. And I'm gonna put it up on Kittle uh, as a base too. So you're gonna be able to use it as a template. If you don't wanna do your own from scratch, you'll have some starter ones on there. So let's get into Kittle right now and I'll show you exactly some of the things that I do to make a tarot card design. So here we are on Kittle, Kittle.com. Uh, we've been here before if you've seen my videos, but look at all these designs. All of these are editable if you've never been here before. And what we're looking for is like vintage graphics like this right here and line art like this right here. And a lot of these could be put into like a tarot card kind of design. Like these would be great in a tarot card design. These would too. Let's look at some other ones like there's a lot, right? So let's look at some things first. I think if we scroll up, uh, streetwear, let's do that first. Like a lot of the streetwear stuff would be really cool for tarot card designs. Not all of them, but I, some of them would be really cool like that. I think that would be cool. Another thing you could do is type in here, tarot. Let's do it with a T, we go like that. And here's some cool ones. Uh, there's not a lot right now. I'm gonna show you some other ways. So mine's gonna be in here eventually. I'm gonna upload my templates so you can see them but you can design your own and put them on here as well. But look at that, that poster right there could be a, a cool tarot card. It doesn't have a design, but that feeling for it. So let me show you what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do new project and click on there. And then we're gonna do pod presets. I'm gonna do a t-shirt. So merch by Amazon, click on that one and create. So 4,500 by 5,400, really easy. So the first thing we need to do for a tarot card is or tarot card design, I'm gonna do a black background instead of white, all right? And in fact, I'm gonna make it like, like a dark gray just so we can see if there's any black that we need to take out. So do like this. Eventually we're gonna do black like this, but we'll do the dark gray like this for now. Okay, so step two, get a frame. So lots of frames on here. If we go to elements uh, and scroll down, you're gonna see, oh, ornaments first. And then you scroll down and you can see large frames, so you could use that. You could also use casual frames here. You could even use uh, shapes. So we could even use this basic shape right here. I'll show you real quickly how to do this one. Uh, border weight, we want this white. And fill, we want nothing. So look at this. You can easily make a tall rectangle is what we need for a tarot card, and then you can center it. Now to make the inside of a tarot card, so we can do Command C, copy and Command V, and there we go, there's a second one right there. And we can pull this inside of the first one, right? And if we wanna make a third one, same thing. Command C, Command V, and pull this down. And there's your simple tarot card and make sure they all are aligned. So if you select them all, um, center it there. And this is where you can type the name of the tarot card. Now you can make this thicker too. So if you want the border thicker on one of them, boom, if you want the border thicker on this one, same thing, right? Uh, 2022, I think you can type it in here too. 22. Okay, another way, let's go look at some of the other frames. So we'll go to ornaments. Um, I'm gonna go to simple frames down here, casual frames, show all, right? I can use any one of these. 
So I want, if I want like a rustic looking one like this one, I can color this white instead of that outside one and kind of do it like that. That's a cool, cool different one, right? So you got all of those. Uh, let's remove that one. We can go back and then do some of these uh, Art Deco stuff. We could even put, you know, what if we wanted this in here? Whoops. We could put this in the corner like that and make it white. Like the possibilities are endless, right? Well, there's a lot. And let's see, up here was, oh, where was it? Large frames, right? Show all, let's just do one more. Uh, maybe this one. Now, unfortunately, these have their same proportions. You can't like squeeze it in, which would be cool to do, but you could mask it if you want it, wanted to do it. Um, but I think this is a, a good size. Let's do this inside like that. Right, or maybe take this one out. That's kind of cool. Cool. All right, so any border you want, any one of these would work. A tall rectangle is the best is what you're looking for. So these wide ones, I would stay away from unless you mask them. Um, but like tall rectangles would be great. This one, again with tall rectangles, just change it to white, right? Like that. That's a cool one. Same kind of style. All right. Okay, so now that we got a frame, whatever frame you picked, let's uh, put something inside of it, okay? Um, first, text. Let's do text first. Uh, so it's just going to be placeholder text until we know what's inside of it. But we can just hit command or just hit T right here. And then we want this text to be white and bigger. And usually the text is like a nice handwritten or serif font. So there's a lot in here. Black driver is a good one. Uh, old Benchville is a good one. Even some of these thinner ones. Adventurer would be a great one. Uh, let's see. Big Low Rules would be pretty cool. Um, let's see. I'm going to pick one more. Brookfield. Brookfield could work. And it's usually the something. So the... I'm going to just put whatever. Just for placeholder text. Just to see what it looks like. Right? Like that. All right, um, next thing I'm gonna do, so we got the frame, we got the text, and sometimes there's text above here too, so I'm just gonna click on the text, gonna hold down Option and drag it up here, and there's usually some kind of number, so like XXV1 or something like that, right? There's usually some kind of thing like that. Uh, and then we'll do illustrations. So there's tons of illustrations on here. Um, I, I kind of like this outdoor pictogram ones. Really cool. So we're looking for anything like black and white, right? We could do a cabin. Could call it the cabin. <laughs> right. uh, let me just show you. Right? You could do like that. That, that would be really cool. Um, but I'm going to do, I'm going to go back out. I think uh, skeletons would be really cool. So let me show, let me get one in here. Yeah, let's just, let's do this one. It's pretty scary. You can fill it like that. And that's everything that's black, let's make white. And everything that's this color, let's make nothing. Right, so you can see we're still keeping the black and white on it. And then um, we could call this the king or something like that. I don't know. I kind of want to do a different font since I have this. So let's do black driver. Ooh, that's kind of cool. 
working. Nice. Uh, now we need more things around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one that we showed before. I think this will be a cool thing to have in the background. And let's do that white. Let's put it in the background. Now, one thing we could do is we could cut it right here. There's not a way to crop it, just like double clicking on it. It's not a photo, but we could use mass. So let's come back here into mass, into shapes, right? We had this one. Let's look for a thin rectangle. this one right here make it this big like this and let's put this inside of it and now we're gonna move it down like this there's one way you could use the mask and the mask color we don't need it Isn't that cool? So now that I have that, I'm gonna try and create more interest by adding some other things on here. So maybe some stars. So let's do stars. So in ornaments, we got these spot elements. I'm gonna do show all. And we got some of these stars here. So I'm gonna do some of these. They're wanting to go on the mask. I'm gonna lock down the mask, move myself from here. it down all right and put some stars in here I think that would be cool make this white as well and flip it all right and maybe some flowers would be cool so I'm gonna come down here and do Art Nouveau flowers uh, you can pick anything I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna put it right here um, about that size right there. I'm going to change the black to white and everything else to clear. Whoops, clear. All right, and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So option, shift, drag, flip, right click, flip horizontal. Whoops. Flip horizontal. There you go and kind of just move it in that space. So we're just filling this space with different things. So let's see if there's a crown. I can do a crown. Yeah, we got some good stuff here. I'm gonna do a crown, make this white. Now this isn't your typical tarot card. It's just a tarot card style design, right? I don't think there is a king or with there. Um, you can try out different things. It doesn't have to be uh, exactly a tarot card. And I'm gonna do uh, one more thing. Let's do. Let's try and fill this space with some more stars in here. I'm gonna go ornaments. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, we got Halloween bats and stuff. Like we can fill it with anything. Let's let's do this. What does this look like? Kind of cool. Why not do a white there? That's kind of cool. And let's uh, maybe just flip this one. Yeah. And then we need we need something right here. Um, oh, that's kind of neat. Oh, why not this bat here? I'm literally just doing anything. It doesn't matter. Um, there we go. Whatever you want, uh, you can do even ornaments. Let me see. I'll do one of these things. I want to put an ornament on the side here. Why don't we do? Uh, Uh, 
like this guy right here. Like I said, Kiddo is one of the best uh, things to do this with because it just has so many options, right? Everything's vintage. Everything kind of matches together. So if I want to use this, option shift drag, flip it, horizontal. Cool. All right, so whatever way we want to do it, uh, you can do it your own way, use different vintage graphics, whatever it is, right? Um, next thing you're going to do once you fill that space, fill that rectangle, we're going to put a texture on it. So let's come here to texture. Uh, and then I like using this new texture back here, the alpha mass selection. I'm going to go show all. I'm going to pick one of these. Oh, let's just pick this one for now. And then we're going to click content and then we're going to do alpha mask. And you can see it just, it's a lot because you can't even read it. So we're going to pick one of these other ones that's a little thinner. There you go. So it still has that distressed look, but you can still read it, right? Let's see. That one. That one's pretty cool. All right, so you can use any one of these, um, but use the one that that you can actually read the words. If it has words in it, you want it to be able to read the words. So this one, you can read the words. I think some one of these here is good. All right, and now we can see what it looks like on pure black or red. So that's a red design, black, right, blue, and dark blue and stuff. So I think this looks great. So all you have to do um, to save this now, uh, title it, I'm gonna call this The King. You'll be able to find this one, I'll put this one up there uh, as a template. Uh, tarot card, okay. Um, I'm gonna change this number. I don't know if that's really The King, but uh, maybe I'll do X one, how about that? Not that that's any better, but <laughs> there you go. You can be anything. All right, so we're going to download this 4500 by 5400. Remove background. We don't want the black. Optimize quality, yes, and PNG. So I'm going to hit that. It's going to download it, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's knocked out. So there you go. Here it is knocked out, um, and you see it was pretty easy. We can do whatever we want. There's tons of vintage uh, designs in there. Just switch out the design, switch out the numbers, switch out these things. You can even switch out the frame, do a different frame and stuff. So have fun with this. I think this is a great way to practice your skills. And, and it doesn't have to be black and white. I just did black and white uh, for ease of use, but it can be color. You've seen tarot cards that are color as well. I think it's just easier to do it black and white and it just has a different feel for it. So um, go and make your own, have fun with this. So that is it. That's how easy it is to, to make a tarot card in Kittle. Go ahead and make your own. Use those steps. Uh, make a frame. Uh, use the text that you want and fill it with some good vintage design and then put the texture on it at the end and save it as a trans with a transparent background. Super easy. I think these do really well depending on the subject in there. I know skeletons do really well. If you can incorporate cats or anything that people love. Um, with tarot cards, kind of mash it up. I think those would do really well. I'm going to put those as templates in Kiddo. Hopefully those, those will help you at least kickstart your ideas, uh, change it up and make it your own. Thanks again for watching. And if you want to see my latest Kiddo video, check out this one right here. Uh, so you can learn even more how to use this awesome program. Thanks again for watching. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.